have um, glossed over a lot of life experiences and people that have influenced you. I always do it. I have a section that I call life lessons. Is there a, a person or a, a life lesson that you can really cite that you'd share with folks to go listen? This well, this is this something that I learned, and if I can speed up you getting your head around this, it's really really going to help you. Heavy, I know. Hence I mean, the point. It's it's a toss up between a cheetah girl's quote and a f friend that gave a great quote. Hey, you can throw two or three. I am good. It's just life lessons. It's a plural and it's a multiple playlist of things. So, okay, yeah. okay. I've never said this quote on any like online public forum ever. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you one that I've like never said before and the one where it's like my go-to. The first one that came to mind for some reason is, are you familiar with the movie The Cheetah Girls? Um, I know of it. I mean, obviously, I'm not like, you know, a binge watcher of Cheetah Girl movies. So I mean, yeah. that wouldn't have surprised me if you were. It's a great film. Yeah, it would. It would surprise so, you. you. So yeah. Whit Whitney Houston um, was one of the producers on it. It's a Disney Disney film about these, right. these girls who come together, form a band and like dress in Cheetah print. But they all come from these different worlds and these different backgrounds. And you know, they come together and they find harmony in music. And it's it's a really, I, I love, I'm obsessed with Cheetah Girls. Um, and there's this quote in the middle of the first film, because there's three. <laughs> and in the first one, there's this guy who's like really chasing after the main girl played by Raven. And, um, and he's kind of being competitive with her because he's like a rapper and she's an artist and they're both competing in this like school competition and she her friends are egging her on like oh my gosh he's so cute why don't you go out with him and he's like girl if he can't respect my art he can't have my heart Ooh. <laughs> wow that's some good stuff that quote gets me all day long that oh, is so some good there are actually stuff. so many great life quotes that I think I took from that film as a kid because I watched it in the last few years again with some friends and there were so many things like Raya that's you Raya you're brave and I'm like oh my gosh like I became this character but in real life so that's the first one the second one that comes to mind is a quote from a friend that I actually went to Israel with and she works in politics and she was actually trying to recruit me to work in politics. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, but she said, um, people cannot be what they cannot see. Mm. And in a time where we're living in a super visual culture where everything is visible um, and people project different stories and push different stories out to different people, um, I think it's really important to remember that we emulate who we watch. I mean, I, I even thinking about the Cheetah Girls reference, it's like, I think subconsciously there was something in me that took this, this fictional story and went, maybe this could be real life. Um, and, and for anyone who's in a position right now where maybe there's some opportunity in front of you where you're afraid to step into it because you feel like you're the only one you feel like um no one looks like you talks like you thinks like you votes like you believes the same thing that you do i would say that's the very reason why you should step forward because if you do not represent the unique story that god has given you who else who else will and think about the people that you'll be able to reach um, and connect with that wouldn't have connected with you otherwise. I mean, a, a cra crazy timing to even think of this quote because last night we had dinner with some wonderful friends. Um, there, uh, there's an artist named Dante who's just a brilliant guy and, um, and his girlfriend. And so we were out to dinner with them and uh, he's gonna be opening for, for King and Country on their tour next year. And um, he told this story that his, for King and Country is the first like Christian band that him and his friends ever listened to and got into. And it was because they had a song with an artist named KB. And yep. this song is called down here, down here oh, my neck awards. Yes, yes. We love KB. We love KB. Um, for King and Country has played more shows with KB than any other artist. Um, and and he's just brilliant. But like in the name of you can't be what you can't see it's like yeah. dante needed to see there's someone who looks like me 
yeah. who who actually is representative of my experience. And so maybe there's space for me there. And and think about all like the impact that now both KB and Dante are having on this industry. It's just it's so exciting to me. So I think the more that people can step into spaces where they are not properly represented, um, the better. Take take that step forward. So it's really one life lesson that's an amalgam of both that we could sum up and call Mariah Mariah's advice is be a cheetah girl. <laughs> be a cheetah girl. Okay. I was just a little come my mama used to tuck me into bed and she'd bring me a story. Okay, I gotta sing you the bridge. I gotta sing the bridge. I can slay my own dragons. I can dream. I got the floor. My own dreams, my own dreams. My night in shining armor is me. Here we go. So I'm gonna set me free. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I could sing that whole song. You know, there's a line about equal pay in that song. I mean, no. that song was ahead of its time. That that was, is, yeah, it really is an older. I didn't realize it was from 2003. I know. So you think I'm, I'm like, what on earth? Has it really been 2003? You think this is a joke, but it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant that it's. I'm not the target audience. Okay, I'm just trying to be honest. I'm not the target audience. If we were here in like my youngest daughter, you know, she's 19. She knows of Cheetah Girls, I'm certain. Oh, Actually, I have three, I have, yeah, I have three daughters that are, you know, so yeah, yeah. They, they probably know Cheetah Girls. And it's on Disney Plus. I mean, this is not like something that's real obscure. Yeah. So I'm do sure. Me favor, do me a favor. When you talk to your daughter who is most likely to know what Cheetah I'm Girls is, text her I want you to do, I want you to do this. I want you to go up to her. I want you to do this. Okay. You're not looking. You have to. No, look. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to pull it up. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So you got to do this. Going to, I'm going to take a picture. Hang on. Go to this and and say hashtag growl power. Growl power right here. <gasps> oh, put it back up. Put it back up. I want to make sure I get a good one. I want to text her. See if she answers me right away because she's not feeling good. So she may be. She may answer right this, away. This will be the pick me up that she needs. Hashtag is, that's great, great. Growl power. Growl power. Okay. Let's see if she answers right away. Mariah, Mariah says. No hashtag. No. Hashtag girl power. Secondary hashtag could be cheetalicious. I mean, it's girl power. <laughs> cheetalicious if you're really trying to help her out. Okay. She's gonna be like, Dad, Dad, what are you? Dad, doing? you should never say these things, Dad. Like, why would you do that? That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, I love I'm gonna it. I'm going to text my oldest daughter because my oldest daughter is like, she's super nerdy like I am. So I know she's watched Cheetah Girls probably like 20 times. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Cheetah Girls Goes to Spain is like her favorite version, I'm sure. It's possible. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to watch Cheetah Girl. If I knew that I should have prepped, I would have watched it yesterday. So I would have. Oh my it. gosh. Because I can't remember the last time that I've watched these movies. I, obviously, I watched them when they were on. And it, so it's been a minute, obviously. So instead, oh I'm watching God. all these all these new shows and movies that are terrible. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So let's, oh, every topic is so serious. I don't want to go serious after all this. This is way more fun than like all this normal, what's your story stuff. Cause it's just, yeah, we've done enough serious. You, you can shoot me any question and we'll make it interesting. That's true. Oh, the picture didn't go. That's why she's like, what? And then the picture didn't go. Too. So she, she's like, why are you telling me cheat delicious dad? Like, it's like, what? From Cheetah oh, Girls, honey. From right. Cheetah Girls. That's, that's so funny. You know, this is this is this is really must see YouTube streaming whenever I'm uh, uh, texting during an interview with Mariah that I've never talked to before. So mm -hmm. your, your handlers will be like, "Well, that was fruitful." <laughs> we talked about the cat. We talked about his toy dinosaur and uh, Cheetah Delicious. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> How? <laughs> doing a great job. Okay. Yeah. She texts back. She goes, She is so cute. And I see you now. Laugh out loud. And there's a bunch of emoji faces or whatever. I see now. Oh, she knows. She does. Yeah. Oh, she got it once the photo went through because she yes. was doing the thing. So until then, she was like, Dad, what are you, what are you talking? Because the photo, they did an explanation point.